as you can see, it's a pretty quiet street. It's a dead end street where the neighbors know each other pretty well and anything unusual they would notice. It's the same as you see it uh, as it was that day. He could walk to the, to the nightclubs or the bars that he liked. He would uh, frequent Al's bar. Uh, he, would, he was a patron at the bar downtown, and he could walk at to any of those locations. But he was very social. Uh, he was a kind, and I, I, I hate the cliche, but it's true, he was the kind that never met a stranger. He, uh, according to the witnesses, would offer homeless guys food. He, uh, when people were hard, on hard times, he would lend them the money, ask them to come back, he'd cook them dinner. And so that's kind of what makes this case difficult, because it could be anybody walking the street. The crime scene was, was quite, quite brutal. Uh, unfortunately, when you see a scene like that, uh, that means at least there's evidence there, and, and that gives hope to the detectives. That particular Friday, one of the employees I uh, talked to him that afternoon. Frank seemed to be excited. He was supposed to have a visitor coming into town. Um, so they talked about that, and he said when he gets home, he's going to get ready, go out, get some shopping done, and, uh, and prepare himself for the visitor. Several interviews have been done by the original detectives, uh, but no leads came from those interviews. Several people of interest came up, uh, and when the cold case task force reviewed this case, uh, we also came up with several uh, people that we were interested in talking to. We have sent in some of the evidence that at the time uh, there were budgetary situations that couldn't be tested or what have you, the backlog. But now uh, KSP, the Kentucky State Police Lab, uh, they have been assigned these, this uh, evidence. They've worked. We've got some positive results back from that evidence, so we're, we're pretty happy about that. And thanks to technology, too, it's, it becomes cheaper to the lab to take some of these tests. Now that it's more common to have DNA, uh, certain types of DNA are tested for commonly now, where <clears throat> before uh, there are certain types of DNA that you, you know, it was expensive, $2,500 to test one sample of DNA, and now that's been reduced dramatically. So uh, it's, it's encouraging. <music>